<sighs> to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take up arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die. To sleep no more. And by sleep to say that we end the heartache and thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die? To sleep? Ha! <laughs> to sleep a chance to dream. <laughs> There's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shoveled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of such long life. For who would bear the wits and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, <laughs> the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might as quiet as make with a bare bodkin? <laughs> who would the fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life but that the dread of something after death, that undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have and to fly into others that we know not of. <laughs> thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sickly o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment with this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia. Nymph, in thy orsons be all my sins remembered. <laughs>